In this problem, we're trying to find the amount of money owed on a loan that has an interest rate that's compounded semi-annually. Well, what does that mean? Semi-annually, that means two times per year. So they're actually calculating the interest and, and charging it twice in a year. And this is a way to earn a, a little bit more interest if you're the person who's, uh, who's offering the loan. Here is a general formula for this type of problem. When you have a compound interest that's compounded more than once a year, this N stands for the number of periods uh, per year that you're charging it. The T stands for the number of years on the loan, and the R is the interest rate. So in this case, our interest rate is 14.5%. I've got to move that decimal point two places to the left. It would be 0.145. So that's our R in this formula. And the number of periods per year, it's just two. It's twice a year. And the number of years, well, let's see what the problem says. It says, assuming he makes no payments, how much will he owe after four years? So T here is four years. Now, the other letters in this problem, the A and the P, A just stands for, for the amount that, that this person is going to owe. And P is the principal. So our P is this $8,000 that we started with. So once we've got all these pieces, we can just plug them in and then pull out our calculator and see what we come up with. So let's go ahead and plug in everything. So I've got the amount equaling the principal, $8,000. And here, 1 plus the rate divided by 2. The rate is 0.145. That's divided by 2. And that's to the 2 times 4 power. So let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. That 0.145 divided by 2, that's going to be 0 0.0725. So this is our principal times 1.0725. And that's raised to the 2 times 4, that's the 8th power. So at this point, what I'm going to do is pull out my calculator, make sure I know where the y to the x key is, or the x to the y key, whatever it is on yours, and punch in that 1.0725, hit y to the x, and 8, and I get 1.75057. This is what we multiply by 8,000. So we'll do that. Aha, and I'm getting $14,004.56. So that's a lot of money. $8,000 ballooned up to over $14,000 just over four years. If you can avoid taking out a loan like that, it's probably a good idea. So that is how to calculate compound interest when the, the period of compounding is more, than, more often than annually.